All right, I'm Matt Jones, and I'm making an immersive RPG in Godot. And one of the first, or one of the second problems I ran into was how exactly do you do bullets? Because they're going so fast and they're so small that they don't really work with uh, any physics system. So you kind of have to do them manually. Because I mean, they're tiny and they're going like a thousand meters per second. So what, basically, what I came up with is just using raycasts like here. Uh, and then there's a little glow trail behind it to show where it is because if, if there was no glow trail it would be basically impossible to see and then when it hits the surface it'll ricochet off it based on based on what the surface is made of like this this cube is spinning randomly it's made out of steel so the bullets will just bounce right off of it and then just for fun here's some more objects made out of various materials like plastic or aluminum and they get flung like these red boxes have very little mass so they're they're flung pretty far based on the bullet speed and the mass has a lot of kinetic energy. The blue ones a lot less and then the yellow ones very little because they're heavy, a lot heavier. And you can see they get knocked back in the correct angle. Pretty neat. And let me show you how this works. All right, so basically we have our a bullet here and then we just have a ray cast behind it. Um, so, for example, if the bullet starts here and then, it's, and then the next frame, it's it's actually way over here. If we didn't have a ray cast, the bullet would have missed these two boxes completely and it wouldn't even know it hit anything. So what we do is have the ray cast behind the bullet. So if it's here, it the ray cast would intersect with these two boxes. Now, one problem I noticed in pretty much everybody's example of how to do this is if you have the ray cast, th basically what they would do is have the ray cast come out of the back of the bullet like this, and then they would measure the collision. But the problem is if the bullet went from here to here, the ray cast can only see one collision. So it, it would say the collision is this yellow cylinder here, but we went through this red box first so we wouldn't even know about that we want to know the first target we went through not the last target because for example if you were to shoot a, if you had like a first person shooter and you shot a guy and the bullet went through him and hit a wall it would say i hit this wall and it's like no you want to know the, the first thing the guy that's the most important so what i do is i have the um the ray cast start at the previous position that the bullet was in and then and then project out to the location of the bullet so we'd have to move this every frame and then when it was here it would see the collision as being this red box so let me show the code for how that works uh, let's see we're not using physics again because it's it's pointless it's just too fast and too small so we just uh, have the velocity and the delta, and then we just multiply the, the velocity by the delta and update the position. Um, and then again, we have to move the ray cast to the, the location of the previous, the previous bullet position, and then we move it, we cast out to the uh, bullet's location. Um, and then we, if the, the bullet is moving a little bit slower, the ray might be too short, so we just make sure it's at least one meter long. And if this is kind of confusing, uh, you can just uh, not worry about it for now. It'll make sense later. And then since we moved everything, we update the ray cast position and check for con check for collisions and get get what it, get what it's colliding with and. Um, if the bullet was here and then it was here in the next frame, well, we want to move it back to the location of the collision, so it just moves it to here instead of being here. So that way we can check what this is and, and ricochet off of whatever the surface is if we want. So this just moves it back to the position, moves it back to the position of the collision, and then we add a little spark. It's just a sphere with a glowing material, and uh, then we can do some cool stuff and just check what we hit, and if it's an item we can then uh, add a little force to it so we just get the velocity of the bullet times the mass of the bullet to get the force and we apply a little uh, energy to whatever we hit so we can knock the boxes over and uh, then we can check what 
what it's made out of. If it's steel or concrete, we can then ricochet the bullet. We, we uh, first will remove a little bit of, of velocity because it lost some of its energy, and then we uh, we bounce. And now this is the part I, I was really hard to figure out how to work because I couldn't find any examples of how to actually bounce off the surface correctly. So we just use the velocity and we bounce it. Before I was using the rotation and bouncing it, and it didn't quite work at the correct angle. So you you get the the collision normal, and then you bounce off of that normal, and then I just look in the direction that the uh, velocity is currently pointing in. Um, and then we finally just make sure the bullet is destroyed if it hits something that that's too tough and it doesn't ricochet or it just goes too far. Um, and let me sh let me show you how the glow works. Um, when the bullet moves about a meter if it moves at least a meter, we just save those positions and we save the last five and into a, uh, an array of points. And then uh, this is really cool. Um, in Godot, you can just draw lines directly on the screen and give those lines a material and it will just make those lines on the screen without actually having to like make a uh, a uh, physical thing. It's just drawing them directly. So you just clear and then you you begin, and then you add to vert vertex, and then you end. And this is this is um, immediate mode geometry. Um, and that's basically it. Uh, if you want to want to uh, experiment with this, it's at our our uh, GitHub page, GitHub.com/slash/immersiverpg, and I have all the examples there. This one, these ones are uh, MIT licensed, so uh, feel free to. Uh, to add to it or use it in your project or whatever. I'd like to add different like different glows. It, it looks good, but it doesn't look as good as I'd want because it's still a bit hard to see against the sky and it doesn't quite look as real as I'd want. So you know, there are other improvements we could make. So if, if you want to help out, go there and uh, I'll talk to you later, guys.